Okay, so uh, now for part B to this one. How long would it take this pitch to travel the 50, point, 50 feet 6 inches to the home plate? So earlier, uh, we looked at how to do this first part, calculating the velocity in meters per second. And that is going to help for this. Actually, either velocity could be used to calculate this, the 116.1 miles per hour or the 51.9 meters per second that I got when I calculated that in terms of meters per second. Either one would get it to you, um, especially because all it asks is how long. So I could give it to you in hours, I can give it to you in seconds or whatever. Um, my thought is this. I'm going to calculate the time in seconds. Okay, so I'm going to put seconds equals question mark to kind of keep me on focus as to what I'm doing. And I need to think of a strategy for this, okay? So I need to think about, all right, how do I get to seconds based on what I have? So I calculated earlier that the velocity of the soft of the uh, the pitch is 51.9 meters per second. Per one second, I suppose, to be a little more accurate. But uh, that is what's going to allow me to get what I'm trying to get. Okay, I'm going to find how many seconds for this ball to travel the 50 feet, 6 inches to the home plate. So, a final answer in seconds is what I'm going to be trying to get. Equals blank seconds. All right, so ooh, let's move that so you can actually see that on screen. There we go. Now, if I'm going to get something ending in seconds, let's see. This meters per second will give me that. So one of the conversion factors in there is going to involve meters per second. And I flipped it upside down. That way I can have seconds on top to give me the final answer with seconds. And meters, well, that's just where it needs to be. That's just where it needs to be. And I'll, I'll find a way to make it cancel out. Okay, now what I'm thinking, if I can turn this into meters, then I just have meters canceling meters and then leaving just seconds and it'd be good. But, ugh, okay. I don't have this in meters, I have in feet, so another conversion is going to have to happen, okay? So, as I'm looking at this, I think it's becoming clear. What I'm going to have to do is take the feet and convert that to meters. And then once I've converted the feet to meters, I can put it in here and have it cancel with this little meters unit here and give me seconds for my final answer. Okay, so let's set up the conversion factor right there. So I need to convert from feet to meters first of all. So I'm going to start with something in feet and I need to wind up with something in seconds. Okay, so if I'm going to convert from feet to meters, that's what's going to happen here. Now I need meters to cancel, so if I'm going to go from feet to meters, I will convert from feet to meters. This way meters cancels meters. So I think now what I can do is I can take the original number of feet, this is 6 inches is half a foot, so it's 50 and a half feet. I can take my original 50.5 feet, and with my conversion factors, feet cancels feet, meters cancels meters, and uh, seconds will be my final unit. All right, well, here we go. I have no idea how many meters there are in a feet, and you probably don't either, but that's okay. That's what your unit reference sheet is for. So right here, one foot is 0 0.305 meters. Well, I guess I get to use that. One foot is 0 0.305 meters. Now, we've got to emphasize, anytime you go from English to metric, it's approximate. This is not infinite suffix, this is not a definition, this is three significant figures. Okay, the final answer, can I have more than three significant figures, which shouldn't be too much of a surprise because this is also three significant figures. Okay, next, uh, let's see, this comes from the velocity we calculated earlier. The ball is traveling at 51.9 meters per second. And okay, well there it is, got all the numbers. Now it is time to use that calculator to find out just exactly what this is going to be. So, all right, 50.5 times 0 0.305 divided by 51.9. And there's the answer. And once again, though, you've got to consider significant figures when you're rounding, so, or when, and writing down your final answer. 
Again, that was three sig figs, three sig figs, three sig figs. So it's basically three significant figures all the way through. So I'm going to round this to 0 0.297 seconds. As the time it takes that ball at 160 miles an hour to travel the 50 and a half feet from pitcher's mound to the home plate. Let's box the final answer. And that should do it.